What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and I just went ahead and finished up my gauntlet run from the last gauntlet video, and I ended up with eight wins. So I'm very content with that because that nets me a gauntlet ticket in the rewards. So you guys actually get to see me open rewards here for my last gauntlet video and a gauntlet ticket, a common card. Um, 105 gold and the spirit orb so I would have liked some extra spirit as well but I guess I'll take that and now I will play gauntlet so I have one ticket the one I just earned and do I play Vanar, Songhai, or Abyssinian people tell me Vanar and uh, Magmar are the best decks to play in gauntlet so I guess I should go with Vanar but I've been kind of sick of playing so much Vanar recently. <laughs> Maybe I'll go Songhai. Nah, Songhai needs more like synergies. I'll just go with the Vanar. Sorry for the abundance of Vanar on my channel recently. Uh, Tethermancer, Blazing Spines, or Mesmerize. Blazing Spines, not too bad a card. Uh, Crystal Cloaker, solid two drop. Healing Mystic, another solid 2 drop. Uh, here, I guess I'll go with the Rock Pulverizer. I don't I don't love any of them though. Hmm. Saber Spine Tiger. I only have one. I'll take the Frost Pirates. Wings of Paradise is an OSK okay card, but. Seems like a pretty good spell. Okay, Dragger Lord, Dying Wish Summon a 4 8 Ice Drake on the space. Mogwai after this Moose Draw card. Or Swarm Avenger. I kind of like the Mogwai. I'm going to take the Mogwai. I've never played with that card. Looks like you can get some card draw for us. Growlmaster, maybe summon a minion. This minion gains random keyboard ability. 2 5 with ranged. And heals things. Got him in plus two attack. This means, yeah. Uh, I'll take the Lux Ignis. Seems like the best card here. None of them seem too good, though. Only have one Vesper can't, Vesper can't make a Vesper deck. So I'll just take the Razorback. Could always come in handy. Winter Blade. Gun up against plus two attack. Eh, and some other thing. I'll take the Dream Gazer. Could always replace that on the first turn and just get an extra minion. Tough choice here. Blood's here, Alchemist, and Hearth Sister are both very useful cards. I think I'll take Hearth Sister though. It seems a little more versatile. Um, Sunseer here. Snowpiercer or Avalanche? I'll take the Snowpiercer. Avalanche. Seems like it, you rarely play it. Uh, now it's like the Avalanche, just because. I mean, Hailstone Prison could be good. I think it's just more like a pushback, just like scrolls, where it's not really dealing with the threat. Let's take the Avalanche. I just want to like have that card to play. Another Crystal Cloaker. A, another Snowpiercer. So I guess we're going for another aggressive deck. Seems like an aggressive deck to me. Flame Blood, Snow Chaser, or Prismatic. This is tough. All three of these cards are good. How many two drops do I? I should I should probably take the Flame Blood because if this is gonna be an aggressive deck. Um Prismatic. It's good as well. Actually, for his magic, I'm not going to have enough spells. Snow Chasers only when it's Infiltrate. I'll take the Flame Blood Warlock. A lot of two drops. Very aggressive here. I'll take... Another two drop with the Hearth Sister. Yeah. Very good with Fae because you can move things into where you want them to die. I'll... Take the Rogue Warden here. 
More blazing spines. Another flame blood warlock. Many, many two drops. But this is an aggressive deck. Blitz your alchemist. Tough choice here. I'll take the cryo. It's always good to have some removal. Another hearth sister. I'm gonna be able to move minions around wherever I want. So many two drops. Seeing as I have two crystal cloakers, I guess a Borean bear could work. That's my only other best word minions. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should be the Veil Hunter. Or the Sand Burrower. Do I really need another two drop? I mean, I have no way of increasing the attack right now. So the Veil Hunter wouldn't be that good. I guess all it has is the Razorback. I'll take the Borean Bear, but I'll probably end up. Actually, I'll take the Sand Burrower. I have so many two drops. I need four drops. There we go. Promise you'll master the solid four drop. More four drops or a five drop Arctic Displacer. I'll take actually the two drop the Frostfire. We're in a very aggressive deck and I want the Frostfire. Um, I want to make something a five five, but then I can't attack generals. So I'll take the Snow Chaser. Now I have a bunch of Hearth Sisters. I think it's okay for me to take the Arctic Displacer now. I can plop that down and get a massive amount of damage in. And finally, Mind Warper or Emma Rejuvenator? Mind Warper. I don't want to be healing generals. I want to be dealing damage. And this can actually, who knows, maybe draw a good card. Very aggressive, so I'll choose Faye for the her two damage. And let's play. Alrighty then. So... I'm gonna play with a very aggressive style here. Kind of, it's kinda, this is probably gonna play almost just like my aggro Fey deck, which I showcased the ranked video before last ranked video. Well, I guess last last ranked video was also an aggro Fey deck, but it was just Mechazor instead of the traditional now units. So just like uh, just like last uh, Gauntlet video, I'm just gonna play the first couple matches or first match of the video get rid of both of those right now I guess yeah the blatant spines can actually screw up his positioning so I might actually keep them I'll get rid of the mine warper and one of them okay Good luck, have fun. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of a blood tier alchemist and display the flame blood. Mogwai is good for some card draws and aggressive deck, so that can be a very good play next turn. Or we might have to use our mana to get a snow piercer on me. No. Okay. So, what do I want to do here? I don't need to get a mana spring if I'm just playing Mogwai. Yeah, so I'm just going to play Mogwai actually back here. And I guess I'll replace the blazing spines now okay I could play Mogwai down here but then he's in danger of being hit so I'd rather let my opponent be able to access those but try to keep this Mogwai alive okay so this guy, if he doesn't get a spell, he essentially works like a uh, spell jammer, except for it only helps me, not my opponent. So, who knows? Maybe I can get some great value out of him. Or he could just be dispelled right now. Did he replace a card yet? Or did he replace a card to draw that card? 
he did replace a card. He didn't replace a card yet. So unfortunately, it's gonna take some damage. That's why I move my. That's why I move that out of the way. Uh. Hmm. So let's get rid of the Sam Burrow. I don't think I'm gonna be playing that this turn. Arctic Displacer. I, I could actually play. Well, let's just move with this. We want to destroy this. So I think I will go like this then. So move, draw a card, I get Avalanche. Well, they're not on my starting side of the field right now. Now if I move up, yeah, I'll move up. Have this switch with this. Gonna have to deal with some damage. Follow it up with my Bloodborne spell to kill it. And then I'll play Crystal Cloaker. Uh, here, I guess. Okay, so pretty good turn. Just gonna try to hold on to this Magla. And he's, if he's gonna be able to destroy it, hopefully it takes him as many cards as possible. Kinetic Surge. And now he does have his general on my starting side of the battlefield, so Avalanche will deal a lot of damage. If he starts building up a board over here. Hailstone Golem. That thing is big. I do get another turn with my Mogwai. Uh, Avalanche does stun him as well. I should probably play the Avalanche. Play Avalanche, I move here, and then I have another two. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Avalanche. Let's see what I draw here. Let's grab the Mana Spring. Hearth Sister. Do I Avalanche? I could Arctic Displacer. Nah, yeah, I think. I think Avalanche is a play here because I don't have any minions on my side of the battlefield. So, Avalanche. And then I will... Store some health to my general, maybe? Attack there. Attack his general. Get rid of the Arctic Displacer. I I ran out of time there. That's annoying because I could have gotten three more damage on this general. Which is kind of a big deal in an aggressive deck like mine. Running out of time, running out of time. That's what I do. Yeah, that was a pretty clutch avalanche. Very happy with it. Crystal Wisp. Another Crystal Wisp. Now, does anybody know Crystal Wisp? Does it go over? You'll end up having over a uh, ten man to spend. I'm not really sure how it works. All right. Well, now I'm gonna be able to get. Uh, I don't have kinetic surge. Never mind. I thought I had kinetic surge. Well then, darn. Can I win? If I do. Oh, I do have Kinetic Surge, never mind. Not Kinetic Surge, I meant Warbird. So do I win? Two, four, six. Two, four, six, nine. Yeah, I have the win. Easy. GG.
Okay. It's always nice to start 1-0 on a gauntlet run. And we're at 50 minutes in the media, so it looks like we can fit another game in. I did speed up the drafting process in uh, this video. Okay, so I'm going second, so I will be able to play three drop. Uh, I'm not going to have it infiltrate in the beginning of the game, so maybe shouldn't play him. Um, get rid of Mine Warper or Sand Burrower. I don't even like the Sand Burrower. I'm going to replace it. I just drafted it because like nothing really else good there. Well, now I have two two drops to play in the first turn. So I'll play the two Flame Blood Warlocks, or if he plays a, a two health minion, I'll probably use Hearthist to bring it closer to my general and destroy it. And then play a Flame Blood Warlock. Good luck, have fun, GDZ. Move forward two. Play Jaxie. I'll move forward two. And the one thing that's a little annoying about the Jack is it can easily destroy one of my Flame Blood of Warlocks. But, you know, that's just gonna be what I have to do. I could play the Hearth Sister, but. Oh, I know what I should do. I just realized. And never mind, I can't destroy it this turn. For a second, I thought I could, like, destroy it, and then. That's not how it works. Let's see if I could actually draw a Bloodsear Alchemist. I'll replace. The Mind Warper. Cryogenesis. Okay, we're just gonna go for uh, the double flame bloods. And yeah, he's just gonna be able to trade with us. He's gonna actually be able to easily destroy both of them. But. Whoops. But next turn, or he's actually, I guess BC wants to get the Mana Spring, he's not going to let the Jaxi die yet. That's fine. I have to kind of hold on to my Hearth Sister until the Jaxi dies, because I can use the Hearth Sister to easily bring the um, mini Jax from the corner to where I can just punch him in the face. I'm a shield master. Deal some damage to his general with my aggro deck, which is always a plus. Um, hmm. I'll replace the sand burrower because I just don't think this is a good card. Uh, if I could just play my own Primus, but I do want to defeat this this turn. So I. But then this is my whole turn playing the Cryo. Yeah, I'm actually going to just play my own Primus. And then use this to attack here. And I won't attack with my general just yet. Frostfire. That's like a focus. Like you gain plus three attack when you play that. Especially if you play it on a Vesper like this. It gains plus three attack and plus three health. So next turn I am actually kind of set up for using Hearth to maybe make something go in the column with his general and get a very effective warbird. Okay. Snowpiercer. Is he going to use that to destroy that? Okay. He did seem like he did a lot to destroy that though, so I'm not too mad about that. And here's the issue here, now I'm provoked. So I'm not able to, actually I still can. Okay, I could just cryogenesis here. K 
Okay, now how do I do this? Um, let's replace one of the crystal cloakers. So... Like, I don't get it. If I play the hard sister here, I don't get the mana, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get the mana, unfortunately. It sucks, but... Oh, well. And I'll just destroy it. So, my general is kind of in danger, because he is a 5 attack thing, I don't. So it's kind of scary. I have my own. Hopefully he's not able to, like, do, like, a crazy win the game this turn. Bright Moss Golem. Okay. So I can do my own snow pierce out of five attack. I can get I can leave him with four health, but then I'd be putting myself a lot of risk to losing the game, so I can't really do that this turn. Um I'll get rid of the Let's see, wait, do I have lethal if I get a Yeah, if I top deck a Saber Spine Tiger, I have lethal. So I can't place this. Um, same time, I can't replace any of the other things. Let's replace the Crystal Cloaker. Saber Spine Tiger? Ooh. Hearthstone's that game. Play that. So I'm going to be able to attack with this. That's 6 attack because of that. 6 plus 5 is 11. And can I play all that stuff? No, I can't. I have six mana. Right now, I have... Oh, yeah, I can't do all that in one turn. I need to play that. And I need to play all this stuff. Okay, I can't do that. Let's uh, let's start with a Warbird. I gotta get that down. And then I'll kind of run away. Okay, whatever. That was kind of a awkward turn. So close to winning. If I had one more, uh, one more mana, I'd be able to win the game last turn. And now, hopefully, he can't win the game this turn. I was close. Ah, oh, avalanche. That's not good. Not good at all. And I think that's going to be game. I can play the Frostfire on this to get to 5, and that would be 7. So, unfortunately, the Heart Sister died here, so I can't get that attack off anymore. Hmm. Let's see if I can top deck uh, Saber Spine Tiger or another Frostfire. Or Chromatic Cold if I had one. Healing Mystic. Well. Let's see. Oh, I can, actually, I should move one space, right? Let's move one space. See what we draw now. Hmm, Dream Gazer. Wasn't able to draw anything. Well, I actually can kind of survive by. Can I kind of survive? Yeah, I can kind of survive by making something go really far away from me. And you heal up. And then I'll play this. And attack. Okay. Well. You know. Now I die if he has chromatic gold though. 
Does he have chromatic colds? Or a artifact in his general? Yep, he does. Okay. That's going to be game. Well played. We were kind of close there. At one point, I don't know. Comment below if I missed lethal, but I think I was one mana away from lethal two turns ago. Unfortunately. And we're at 25 minutes now, so I'm going to cut off the video. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Much rather have a 2-0, but you can't win them all. That'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. Hey, what the hell? Let's just open a spirit orb at the end of the video. Top it off. And... We got an artifact on there, so one epic card. Cool. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Keep on watching.